Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go through the PowerPoint North Carolina's First People. Uh, we, uh, we went through this in class. I'm giving you guys the opportunity to get it again. Uh, as we go through it, I will annotate, uh, which means I'm speaking uh, and notating as we go along. So you can get basically the feel that you would get uh, as we were in class. The audio does lag behind, so just bear with me. So how did the Native Americans get here? Well, the Native Americans weren't always in North America. Uh, North America used to be a land where no human beings whatsoever uh, lived until about 12,000 years ago uh, during the Ice Age. During the Ice Age, uh, most uh, of your northern and southern climates were covered completely with glaciers. These glaciers are large, uh, semi uh, movable uh, blocks of ice that travel across a, uh, a landscape, actually doing a lot of uh, geographic damage as they go. Uh, but with all this water that was trapped in the form of glaciers, the water level, you know, because all that water has to come somewhere for that ice, and it came out of the ocean, and uh <coughs> It uh, caused the water level in the world to be much, much lower. And it actually exposed uh, part of the seafloor that is now uh, between North America and Asia, between Alaska and what is now Russia. These low water levels exposed this land. And you could actually walk all the way across from Russia uh, into North America through this Bering uh, land bridge. And the people that did this were Ice Age hunters who were following antelope and mammoth uh, from Asia into North America. These people were very similar to what we see today with the uh, Inuit tribes or the what is more commonly referred to as the Eskimo uh, tribes of Native Americans. Uh, but these weren't Native Americans yet. They were Ice Age hunters. Okay, This map shows you a, a very good view of what used to be land 20,000 years ago when all the water uh, was, was absorbed by these glaciers. You know, everything in green you see on this map used to be uh, land, but it's now it's underwater. Okay, so once across the land bridge, the Ice Age hunters spread throughout North America. You can see that in the red, uh, as the red arrows spread across uh, North America. Okay, let's go back. Over thousands of years, hunters settled and formed the Native American cultures we know today. This took uh, thousands and thousands of years uh, to get to the point um, where uh, we know of the uh, Native Americans today uh, in all their different nations and tribes. Um, so it didn't just happen overnight. It happened over thousands of years. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between migration and immigration. You might know about migration because several types of uh, animals, uh, for instance, these geese here, uh, those are actually swans, excuse me, uh, migrate every year. Um, and migration is the constant movement from place to place in search of life's essential needs. And believe it or not, there are people, uh, ethnic groups, that migrate. Um, those Ice Age hunters that I was talking about that eventually became the Native Americans migrated. Um, so just like animals, there are some ethnic groups or there are some cultural groups that uh, actually participate in migration. Uh, those Ice Age hunters are the only uh, group of people who have migrated. Uh, into North America. Everybody else immigrated. That's why I'm teaching you the difference between migration and immigration. So what are life's essential needs? Well, simply that's food, water, and shelter. The three things you need uh, to live. Uh, without these three things, you would most certainly eventually die um, of either starvation, dehydration, or exposure to the elements, respectively. So immigration. Immigration is simply uh, to move into a new area with the intentions of living there for the long term or permanently. 
that this is different from migration in the in the fact that you you when you immigrate you move to a new place with the intentions of staying there. Uh, Im- migration, you move constantly from place to place. Immigration, you move somewhere and you stay. And immigration isn't necessarily from one country to another. It could be from one region to another or from even from one city to another. So if you were to move from Beaufort to Moorhead City um, with the intention of living there for quite a while, that would be still be immigration. Okay, so when you think of migration, think of constant. You're constantly moving, looking for food, water, and shelter. Um, immigration, you're permanently staying there. Um, you know, and you could be searching for economic opportunity is one of the reasons why you might immigrate. Thank you very much.